Today's video is about a spiritual son of Padre Pio who was executed. Yes, you heard that correctly. He was shot and then saw heaven. Stay tuned to hear what happened. Welcome back to our YouTube channel following Padre Pio. If you're new to our channel, Padre Pio was a Capuchin friar, mystic and miracle worker whose intercession is still very powerful and active today. We publish videos and shorts five days a week, so follow us to find out more about the life of this fascinating saint and you will be amazed at what Padre Pio can do for you, a family member or a friend. And now to our testimony. This testimony is provided by Father Jean de Robert, who played a part in the canonization process of Padre Pio. The source of this testimony is a letter addressed to Dear Father, so it was probably written to his superior. Father de Robert begins the letter. You asked me to write a summary of the obvious protection I was given during the Algerian War. This happened in August 1958. At the time, I was part of the medical corps, and I would like to emphasize that Father Pio also protected me in other difficult moments in my life. Father de Robert then takes a step back to reflect on his journey with Padre Pio. In 1955, Padre Pio accepted him as his spiritual son and sent him a letter promising prayers and support. Father de Robert also shares that Padre Pio had assisted him during previous exams while he was studying at the Gregorian University. He proceeds to recount the events that unfolded during the war. One night, the city was attacked by commandos and Father de Robert, along with five soldiers, was captured and taken to a location where they were to be executed. He vividly recalls that moment. I was thinking about my mother and father, but I also felt great joy because I was about to see what lay beyond life. Interestingly, that very morning, he received a letter from Padre Pio with a line that stood out to him. Life is a struggle, but it leads to light. This particular line was underlined multiple times, emphasizing its significance. Father de Robert shares that after being shot, he instantaneously felt his soul separating from his lifeless body, which lay before him drenched in blood. He then began ascending through what seemed like a tunnel, encountering both familiar and unfamiliar faces emerging from the surrounding clouds. Initially, those faces appeared as shadows, belonging to sinners with few virtues. However, as he continued his ascent, the faces became increasingly radiant and virtuous. He was astonished that despite being deceased, he could still walk and assumed that he had been resurrected. He testifies to his amazement at being able to see his surroundings without moving his head, suggesting that he possessed a glorified body. Furthermore, he was surprised to feel the wounds inflicted by the bullets that were fired at him. He concluded that the bullets had passed through his body so swiftly that he didn't even perceive them. Following this, he recollects thinking about his parents and suddenly finding himself observing them while they slept in their room at home. Although he attempted to communicate with them, he found himself unable to do so. He also noticed that some furniture in the house had been rearranged. When he eventually returned to life a few days later, he wrote to his mother inquiring about the furniture. To his surprise, she was taken aback and asked him how he knew about it. I guess there is no short answer to that question. Continuing with his out-of-body experience, Father de Robert reveals that he recollected Pope Pius XII, whom he knew well due to his studies in Rome. Suddenly, he found himself in the Pope's room as the Pope prepared for bed, engaging in a brief conversation. It appeared that whenever he thought of someone, he would instantly find himself in their presence, regardless of the distance between them. He continued ascending the tunnel until he found himself amidst a breathtaking landscape illuminated by a bright bluish light despite the absence of the sun. He believed this blue light emanated from the Lord as mentioned in the book of Revelation, which depicts the Lord shining upon his followers. In this magnificent place, 
he encountered thousands of individuals, all appearing to be in their 30s. Some he recognized from their earthly lives, although they had aged and passed away. Yet, now they stood before him, appearing as if they were in their 30s. Others had died as infants, yet there they were, the same age as him. It seemed that the ideal age in this realm was in one's 30s. Leaving behind this paradise, filled with unfamiliar flowers and things he had never seen before, he continued his ascent. At a certain point, he shed his human nature and transformed into a drop of light. He observed numerous other drops of light and recognized some as St. Peter, St. Paul, St. John, and other apostles and saints. He then beheld Mary, radiantly beautiful, clothed in light. She greeted him with a smile. It's interesting how Our Lady is always described as beautiful, isn't it? Her beauty shows who she is. Behind her, he caught a glimpse of Jesus Christ, whose beauty surpassed all measure. Beyond Jesus, an infinite expanse of light revealed itself, representing the Lord Father. Father de Robert immersed himself in this divine presence, finding his deepest desires fulfilled and experiencing perfect happiness. That was his journey to heaven. Suddenly, he came back to life, finding himself lying on the ground, his face covered in dust amidst the fallen bodies of his fellow soldiers. He noticed gates ahead, filled with bullet holes that had pierced through his body. His clothes were torn and stained with blood, and dried blood marked his chest and back, indicating that this ordeal had lasted for some time. Some individuals discovered him in that state and brought him to the commanding officer who exclaimed, It's a miracle. This profound experience completely transformed his life. After leaving the military, he made a journey to visit Padre Pio. From a distance, Padre Pio spotted Father de Robert and gestured for him to come closer. With a warm greeting, Padre Pio said, Oh, the trials I endured because of you. Nevertheless, what you witnessed was truly wonderful. So Padre Pio not only knew about what had happened to Father de Robert, but also played a crucial role in keeping him alive. Concluding his letter, Father de Robert asserts that what he witnessed is the very reason why he no longer harbors a fear of death. He now possesses a profound understanding of what awaits us in eternity. This incredible story gives us a glimpse of what exists beyond our world. From encountering shadowy figures to seeing beautiful places and meeting Mary, Jesus, and the Father. It's truly awe-inspiring. This testimony shows us that life is well worth living according to God's law, no matter what the cost. So let's persist in our faith, in the hope of one day experiencing this beauty and fulfillment for ourselves. Thank you for listening. Please give our channel a boost by continuing to watch another video. This will help with the YouTube algorithm. I have recommended some videos especially chosen for you on the end screen. Or just click on one of the links in the description below for a full selection of great Padre Pio stories. We have a new playlist, Padre Pio Thought for the Day. Check it out. And don't forget to enroll your Mass intentions for next Friday's Padre Pio Holy Mass. You will find the link in the description below. And stay tuned for the next video on the life of Padre Pio.